A fresh wave of clashes between protesters and security forces in Cairo has left at least 33 people dead, according to reports coming out of the Egyptian capital. After a bloody weekend of violence, the demonstrations against the country's ruling generals continued on Monday. Those taking to the streets want a much faster handover of power. Our demands and the demands of our generation cannot be met with violence and bullets, this protester says. Police have been using tear gas and batons to clear demonstrators gathered in Tahrir Square. Hundreds of people are said to have been injured in the running street battles. It's the largest continuous protest since President Hosni Mubarak was toppled in February. With a week to go before voting in the first free parliamentary elections in decades, these scenes have raised concerns about how smooth the ballot will be. The army is expected to remain in power until the next presidential poll, which may not happen until 2013.